Some newspapers don't seem to run obituaries at all. I think one example would be the Wall Street Journal. Uh, what, what determines the level of interest in, in, of a, in a newspaper uh, in obituaries? Uh, the, the journal does, and again, I can't speak to that because I'm not in newsroom administration. I'm not a publisher, but of course, you're an economist. It's economics. I mean, sadly, even many major papers are scaling back or even eliminating their open departments in this age of retrenchment, in the age of the incredible shrinking news hole, in the age where heartbreakingly newspapers are dying. I mean, I, I fear the last one to turn out the lights will be writing the obit of whatever is the last newspaper standing. <coughs> Do people whose obituaries are being written, those where the draft is written in advance, do they engage in much rent-seeking, trying to sway what the paper will do, how they will be covered? They ask to see a draft. There are publicists elbow people in the obituaries department. Do they try to manage their reputations, or does this really not much go Occasionally, on? Occasionally, although, of course, we would never let them, and it is absolutely verboten for anyone to see a draft of his or her obit. The Times is not permitted to comment on or divulge the contents of any forthcoming news story. And of course, if you think about it, an advance obit is kind of the ultimate forthcoming news story. So famous people, for reasons of ego perhaps, uh, can make an educated guess as to whether we have an obit of them on file, but they're certainly never going to see it. But if they say, well, would you let me send you my bio? Do you just turn them away, or do you...? No, because it may be useful to us for study purposes. We are not going to tell them whether we're going to use it or not. And we do get, um, not for advance obits so much, but for daily obits on deadline where the subject has actually died. If a person has been in public life all of his or her life, and we usually see this for either politicians or particularly Hollywood people, and he or she has had a publicist in life, that publicist will occasionally send us this glossy press kit. And I find it quite fascinating that there is this one last act of spin control attempted <laughs> in death 